Hi there, we're just going to go over how to connect the toy printer with your Android device. Uh, this here is a uh, very old Android phone and uh, uh, just not my normal phone, but uh, I figured that uh, it would be a good example to show that, you know, if the toy works with this old Android phone, it will work with just about any Android phone available. And so what we're going to do is we are going to power on the Toic. I'm going to wait for that blue Wi-Fi icon to flash blue. And there we go, flashing blue. Now onto your phone, go into settings. Now go into your Wi-Fi, connect to the Toic Wi-Fi. If it's your first time connecting, then you may have to enter a password. The password is in the Hildebrandt instruction manual that we provide with the TOEIC. Now, one thing about this connection, you got to hold the phone, like you see right now this is connected, no internet. You got to hold the phone kind of close to the TOEIC printer while it's connecting. It may take 30 to 40 seconds. So. Don't think, oh, as soon as you can, you, you tap on that connect, that it's automatically connected. No, you gotta wait a little bit. Um, it's just the Wi-Fi device has to connect to your phone device and it takes a little bit of time. So right now, oh, there we go. And see now it says connected, where earlier it says like um, connected and no internet or something like that. Now it says connected and that's indicating your phone is connected to the TOEIC. Now, I hope you guys have already downloaded the TOEIC printer app, which I have here. If it's your first time connecting, then you will also need to go to the search, search thing here. And then it searches for the printer and then you clicked. Now your app is connected to the printer. And then you go on to parameters, set it to A4. And then media type, for now I'm just going to go with tattoo paper. The instruction manual that we provide will go over the different settings, parameters for you know, different designs, uh, for your BG work, for your, uh, for your geometric shapes, you know, and things like that. So I'm going to go on to the picture and oh, I should, end, I should uh, insert the paper first. You gotta remove the, the separation sheet, which I already did for this one, so remove the separation sheet between the carbon and the, uh, the actual printout paper. Insert as straight as possible and then you can select the design and then you can go and print. So we're just gonna go with tattoo type or type tattoo paper and brightness. We're just gonna go with light. And I'm just gonna print that. And you probably don't wanna hold the phone too far away from the printer when it's connecting to, uh, you know, to print this. You just want to hold it somewhat close to the actual uh, to the printer physically, so that uh, you know it doesn't have to travel too far away in order uh, for the signal to catch. Uh, after while it's printing, you can kind of put it a little bit further away. That should be fine. Um, one thing I should mention is the toy printer app. While it does have something of a sizing function, it's not really meant to do like intricate sizing of your pictures. Um, if you want to size your pictures, I definitely recommend using a, uh, a photo editing software or app that's on your phone or your tablet, um, and then outputting it through the Toic Printer app. The Toic Printer app's not meant to uh, do change your designs or to, you know, like, uh, to resize your pictures for you. It's meant to just print the designs. Yeah, it does a quite nice job of it, as you can see. There we go, very nice, coming out very well.